are stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is gonna steal. You are stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is gonna steal. You are stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is gonna steal it. No, no one, no one uh, is allowed to steal it, Yami. Jacob, you know this is not your house. Yes, but if I go, you don't go back. So what's the problem? Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do this. I didn't do this. But this, it's you're... easy to yell at me, but I didn't do this. You no. are stealing my house. Shalom. I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, teach well. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Coming next to you with a quick lesson. Lord willing, it's edifying. And, you know, you've seen the opening clip, all right? Scriptures tell you that um, this 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 person is not going to change, matter of fact. Let's go to Jeremiah right quick. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 13 and verse 23, it reads, Can the Ethiopian... Change his skin or the leopard his spots, then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. So the Lord created these Amalekites, these Edomites, these Temanites, these Dadanites, okay, to do wickedly, to do evil. So yeah, they're going to steal, all right? Like the guy said, if I don't steal it, somebody else will. And that's the mindset of Esau Edom, man. All right, scriptures tell you what they covered fields. Yeah, let's go get that. All right? So the Lord is really putting a showcase on, all right? Showing you who, who's the wicked of the earth. Micah, chapter 2 and verse 1. And what that guy said, he said, it ain't me. So basically, it's their whole government, all right, set up over there to... Uh, <clears throat> to move these people out of the land, right? This is Micah chapter 2 and verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands, you see? It's in the power of their hands to move those uh, Ishmaelites out of there, right? And they don't, neither one was supposed to be in the land in the first place, Right? That's why there is no peace. The Lord says it's not going to be peace in the land until the real Israelites get there. And this is the point. Chapter 2, I mean, verse 2. And they covered fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. All right? And that's what we're seeing right here. All right? <laughs> a state issue. Oppression, all right, done by who? None other than Esau Edom, all right, the so called white man. Let's go to the book of Habakkuk, or Habakkuk, chapter 2. And that dude said, If I don't steal it, somebody else will, man. That's pride, pride at its height, and that's who this man is. He's the prideful devil, right? Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold. His soul was just lifted up, yeah, proud, high-heady, high-minded, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. 
Verse 5. Yeah, also because he transgresses by wine, yeah, his uh his government, his uh philosophy, his way of life, right? These are the wine that Esau issue out that has the whole world drunken. Because they following after his customs. It says, he is a proud man. You see, he is a proud man. Neither keep of at home, who enlarges of his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied. But gather unto him all nations and heap of unto him all people. Well, this proud devil said, if I don't, if I don't steal it, somebody else will, right? See? Settle the takeover. See that? Or they cover fields and take them by violence. Even though they're not supposed to be in the land. Right? Let's go to the book of John. And that's what we're seeing. The Lord is revealing this devil, man. This is John. He can't hide himself anymore. Chapter 10 and verse 10. The thief come of not but to steal. You see? The thief come of not but to steal. And to kill and to destroy. I am come that they may have that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Yeah, but the thief is what? Esau eat him, man. Alright? He that stealeth a man and selleth him, yeah, let's go get that. Alright? And it's a recompense for that. Let's read one of the recompenses. Alright? Because you so called nineteen forty eight ers. You had a, a hand in our slavery. You funded the slave ships. You did do it. You did the insurance to back them from going from one place to the other. Exodus chapter 21 and verse 16. He that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. You see? So you stolen our land, stolen our culture, our heritage. Guess what? The Lord is going to put you to death. It's a guarantee. Right? Let's go to Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 5. The part is in verse 4. It says, Zechariah 5 and 1, Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying row. Yeah, this chariot, so-called UFOs, right? And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying row. The length thereof, 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof, 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that still of shall be cut off on this side according to it, and every one that swear shall be cut off as on that side according to it. And this is the point. And I will bring it forth, saith the Lord, Yahweh by shall shall have hosts. And it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. Yeah, them, those 1948ers swear falsely by the name of Yahweh, right? You say what, Yahweh, right? It says, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and it shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stones thereof. Yeah, man. Oh, the great destruction is going to be in that land of Israel. Also here in America, where two-thirds of our people are going to be put away, all right, and die, okay? But once again, this thief, same MO, it don't change. You are stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. You are stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. You are stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. No, no one. That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, great millstone, grew well, teach well. Much respect to you, brothers, labor worldwide and truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, coming to you a lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.